Welcome to the body imaging cases. This is a case of a pregnant lady with right abdominal pain. The baby girl is enjoying her time inside the uterus looking at the cord. This is the placenta. And this is an incidental finding of a cyst at the placental insertion of the cord. Here, posterior and superior to the uterus, we start to see the base of the appendix coming from the highly located cecum with some periappendiceal fat stranding. and obliteration of the lumen by the second wall. Now we start to see the lumen started to be filling with fluid. And here the tip of the appendix is seen distended with fluid. And that's the rest of the appendix closely related to the rather dilated right ureter. This is how the appendix looks like in the transverse image. And this is the cecum here. That's the base of the appendix. The diffusion weighted images show very subtle diffusion restriction of the appendix. But this subtle diffusion restriction is enough to support together with the features we have seen on the T2 weighted images, the possibility of acute appendicitis. The patient has been operated upon and the pathology was acute suppurative appendicitis. Let us see how pregnancy has altered the position of the appendix in this case. You see the appendix in front of the right kidney and you see the cecum in front of the ascending colon. The sagittal image explains the situation. This is the hepatic flexure of the colon and this is the ascending colon. Then the cecum is reflected upwards because it is pushed by the pregnant uterus and it has a residual mesentery allowing for that. Otherwise, the uterus slides over the entirely retroperitoneal cecum. And this is the appendix. Luckily enough, we have seen a previous MRI of the same patient before the pregnancy. Here you see the hepatic flexure of colon. And this is the ascending colon. And the cecum is located in its normal location in the right iliac fossa. Whereas in this uh, situation, as we have seen, the cecum has been reflected up by the um, pregnant uterus and the appendix has also changed its location. The importance of this is that you know where to look at the appendix on imaging, but the importance of this also is to inform the surgeon about the location of the appendix to reduce the searching time during the operation. Back to the incidental finding of a cyst at the placental insertion of the cord. It shows marked diffusion restriction. This is the persistent yolk sac. The yolk sac normally disappears but occasionally persists and this is its typical location. It has no pathological significance and no impact on the pregnancy outcome. Our learning points. MRI is a useful modality for diagnosis of acute appendicitis in pregnancy. 
Signs of acute appendicitis on MRI include wall thickening of the appendix, periappendiceal fat stranding, fluid within the appendiceal lumen, and diffusion restriction of the appendiceal wall. The cecum may be elevated by the pregnant uterus if it has a residual mesentery. We have to take this in consideration while searching for the appendix in pregnant ladies. The surgeon needs to be informed about the location to reduce the searching time during the surgery. Persistent yolk sac may be identified at the placental cord insertion. It has no pathological significance and does not impact the pregnancy outcome. Our next case is a young adult male with an incidentally seen pancreatic lesion on ultrasonography. 